Hey guys. Hey. How you doing? Hope you're well. My name's Liam. And I'm Steph. And today we're going to be continuing on with Cora Season 2. The first episode was pretty good, to be honest. I uh, thought it was great. We're going to yeah. start learning a bit more about the spirit, which is amazing. Yeah. Because that's actually something in uh, the original Avatar that we wanted to explore a little bit more. So hopefully we'll get that in this season. If you guys want to watch the full episodes with us, you can always check those out on Patreon. But with that being said, let's jump straight in and we'll see you on the other side. What can I say? I'm pumped up to learn that Unalak spirit fighting. I'm not here to teach you to fight spirits. I'm here to help you begin your spiritual training. You're going to ah. train me at the South Pole? We will do more than just train. By neglecting the spirits, the people of the South have brought darkness upon themselves. Ooh. And now it threatens to destroy our tribe. A dangerous trip to the South Pole? Count me in. <laughs> of course she's up yeah. for it. Master Tenzin, welcome. Good to see you again, Abbot Shung. I bet he's like a celebrity to them, isn't he? Oh, I bet he is, yeah. Mommy, Daddy, look! I finally got a lemur! I'm gonna name him Oh! Bucky. It's like Momo! Oh, yeah! Oh, I miss Momo. Tonrock, what do you want? I heard you're taking Korra to the South Pole. I'm coming. Absolutely not! You're a distraction to Korra and a hindrance to what needs to be done. It's men like your father who have put the spirit world out of balance. What matters is the Everstorm. The Everstorm? It's a massive blizzard that's battered the South Pole for decades. Oh. I'm coming. Ah, oh. okay. I wondered, like, was the South Pole dangerous? Like, why all, all of a sudden the interest to go? Where'd you get the ride? Varric! He's awesome! He also gave me this fancy snowsuit. It's inflatable with an internal heater, emergency beacon, and food ration pouch. He's just a ball of energy, isn't he? I love him. Does this sidecar have the capacity for two passengers? Sure does. But, uh, who's gonna drive? I know I said I wanted Bolin to get with someone, relationship-wise. Yeah. Not these two. <laughs> oh, I like these two. They're a little bit strange. I know, but I like it. They're funny. At the South Pole, there is a portal that connects our world to the spirit world. Ooh. But it has long been closed. If you can open the portal in time, balance will be restored. What do you mean, in time? There's a reason the Glacier Spirits Festival ends on the Winter Solstice. Only then can the Avatar open the portal. Winter Solstice is tomorrow. Exactly. And we can't afford to wait another year. What are They're those? creepy, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Dark spirits. Let's keep moving. We have to find a safe place to set up camp. Has it explained why these spirits are trying to attack Korra and everybody else? Because they're off balance. Is that why? Yeah, that's what you were saying. The spirits are angry because he's here. Haven't you ever wondered how your father ended up in the South Pole? Why he's never taken you to visit his homeland in the North? Oh, mm. what's this then? I left the North Pole because... I was banished. He was banished from he the North banished. Pole? Why? Because I almost destroyed the entire tribe. Twenty years ago, I was oh a general God. in the Northern Water Tribe. Brother, we're being attacked! We tracked them deep into an ancient forest. Many believed this forest was the home to spirits. And the barbarians retreated there because they thought we wouldn't attack on such hallowed grounds. Oh, okay. We captured the barbarians. But in the process, we destroyed the forest. Oh. oh, so that's why they're angry. By destroying the forest, I unknowingly let loose angry spirits. Yeah, because that's what happened in the original Avatar with that, like, venom-looking spirit. Yeah. Oh, I feel bad for them, really, because that was their little Unalok home, was able to it? guide the spirits yeah. back to the forest. But by then, the damage had been done. So Unalok has always been able to... Communicate. ...do and... this, yeah. Yeah. I wonder when he learned that, maybe when he was younger. My father banished me from the Northern Water Tribe in shame. That's when I came to the South and started a new life. So you were supposed to be chief, then he became chief. No wonder you guys don't like each other. <laughs> Ow, what? <laughs> Why do you keep hiding things from me and then telling me it's for my own protection? I'm tired of you protecting me. Cora. Oh dear. 
Here you will find statues of every avatar who ever lived. That is so cool, isn't That's it? That's amazing. Where are your brother and sister? Of course they're uh, messing about. Oh, has he broke one of the statues? Oh, oh is that Ang? Bless him. Amazing. What was that? I should have never gone into that forest. And we shouldn't be going to the South Pole now. Spirit and the physical world should remain separate. You don't even know if what Unalak says is true. You want proof? Look to the sky. Where I'm from, the spirits are at peace and they light up the dark. When the war ended, the North helped to rebuild you physically as a nation. But we have not rebuilt you spiritually. Now the spirits no longer dance in your skies. Instead, they rampage in the Everstorm. I'm excited to see this Everstorm. Yeah. Because I imagine that's it in the distance, yeah, right? Yeah, it looks menacing, doesn't it? Look yeah. <laughs> it's easy to forget that like Bolin and Mako have never really had any uh, anything to do with spirits, has they really? Oh no, not really. Oh, oh it's in the engine. Oh no. Oh, they're properly under attack, aren't they? Yeah, and there's nothing. Oh. oh. No. Oh, she was doing all right, she though. She was doing, yeah. Is everyone okay? Oh, no, of oh, course. No, quick, you got to save him. I'll save you. <laughs> hey, these two have got a bit of skill. They are. They didn't flinch in that situation, no, did they? No, they didn't. <laughs> the solstice is tonight. We're so close. This mission is too dangerous. We're leaving. No, Dad. You're leaving. Ooh. Ooh. So, what exactly were you and my dad talking about? Nothing. He was just worried about you, that's all. You know, sometimes I wonder whose side you're on. She's a bit aggressive in this season. Like, mm. I don't really know why. I think she's struggling with trust, isn't she, though? Do you think? Yeah. You must find your way to the heart of the forest where the dormant spirit portal lies. From here, you're on your own. You have to believe in yourself, like I believe in you. What is it? I guess I'm just so used to people telling me how to do things that I forgot what it was like to have someone trust in me. There's no reason for me not to trust this guy, because he is her uncle, really, but... I just, I, I feel a bit strange about something. I don't really mm, know what it is. I know what you mean. What happens if she gets attacked by loads of spirits? Don't she's by herself? I was gonna say that, like she hasn't really learned how to protect herself down there. No. Why do I feel like she shouldn't be doing this? That's what I mean. I just, I don't know. I feel like she's not had nowhere near enough training to be down there yet. No. Oh. She needed to connect with it during the avatar state. I wow. can't believe it. It's beautiful. That's awesome. Why don't I feel like I don't feel like I'm happy right there about with this. you. I just something doesn't feel right with him. But it's her uncle, so I don't know why he would do anything malicious. Hey, Cora's back! <laughs> Why are you initiating physical contact with another woman? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> of 
funny. By the way, I'm really sorry for being a total pain. Things were really stressful and confusing. Yeah. Okay. See? What is this? What is that? What's happening? What are all your northern troops doing here? Opening the spirit portal was only the first step in getting the southern water tribe back on its righteous path. There's more difficult work to be done before our two tribes are truly united. What is his agenda? I think his agenda is to make everyone follow the same path as him. Oh. This isn't their tribe though, right? No. Why did you bring your troops down from the north? Now that you've opened the southern portal, we need to protect it from people who would do the spirits harm. There is another portal in the north. Once you open it, spirits and man will be able to move freely between the north and the south in a matter of seconds. With both portals open, our tribes will be united again. The world will be united again. Hmm. I'm not sure that's what he wants. I think he just wants to dominate both. Yeah, I just feel like he's got an agenda. I don't know why. We could be totally wrong. I know. But... I haven't felt this at peace since... <laughs> And it's over. <laughs> well, looky here. Vacation Tenzin has finally decided to join us. <laughs> yes, he has. And I've really enjoyed having you two around. Reminds me of all those great vacations we took as kids with Dad. Uh, I think your memory's a little foggy. Boomy and I weren't on those great vacations. It was always just you and Dad. Oh. That doesn't sound like Ang. No. Where's your sister? Who? Iki. About this tall, talks real fast. I'm sure you know her. She ran away. Honestly, oh. I don't know why you kids can't just get along. It's all right, dear. Iki couldn't have gone far. I'll find her. What do you say we all go together? Sure. I could use the help. I know these last few days have been very troubling. Troubling? Troubling is when I get that itchy rash that won't go away and Julie's not around to scratch it. No. This dude That's is gross. so funny. He's brilliant. My point is, Unalak's already booted our chieftains out of their palace. How long before he starts telling us what kind of cookies we can eat? <laughs> All Unalak is trying to do is make our tribes unified again. No, he no. wants control of our wealth. My wealth. Oh. And I like my wealth. There's a little bit of unrest here, isn't there? Yeah. You want to start a war? Are you crazy? Unalak started this, not us. I cannot stop eating these things. <laughs> Look, we all know where this conflict is heading. We need to start preparing for war. And that'd be like Water Tribe versus Water Tribe, though. Yeah. You know, I'll be really sad when you have to leave. It's been <laughs> really great getting to know you. But you will be coming with me to the north. There we will live the rest of our lives together in icy bliss. Foolish Bolin. Run away, Bolin. I don't want to live in icy bliss with Eska. Don't make me. Oh, please, please, don't make me. Uh, hey, if you're that unhappy, just break up with her. Break up with her? You could do that? Yeah. <laughs> She'd end up chopping his head off or oh, something. No. Yeah. You'll feel a lot better afterwards, trust me. Thanks, Marco. I don't feel like that's going to go well. Sorry to interrupt. It's about our conversation this morning. Yes. I understand why you brought your troops here, but I'm afraid it's sending the wrong message. I am their chief. I'm uniting, not invading. If the water tribes were at war, the other nations would take sides. The dark spirits would thrive off this negative energy, and the world would be thrown into a battle between spirits and man. How do we stop it? We? No, Korra. This is a war only the Avatar can prevent. It's not great, is it? Because she's being pulled one way and the other. Yeah. You will naturally want to help your people, but showing favoritism will not help our tribes find unity. But I have no doubt you will become the most admired Avatar the world has ever known. Thank you, Uncle. I feel like he just says things that she wants to hear sometimes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's you not cool. Think you're tough, huh? Pick on a waterbender your own size. Yeah. Yeah, tensions are high. Stop. These southerners need to stay in line. Everyone, calm down. 
You're all part of the same tribe. Start acting like it. You're taking their side? Ooh. Everyone, walk away from this. They're not worth our trouble. Go back to your homes. Oh, this isn't good. Her dad is more of a leader of the tribes. He is, yeah. Cora. Is she still angry with him because of the... I think she's mad at him there because she was dealing with the situation and he just waded in and sorted it. Oh, do you reckon it's that? Perhaps. Where are you? Over here, Dad. <laughs> just kidding. It's me. <laughs> oh, my God. He's funny. I wish I could be as good a father as Dad was to us. Tenzin, your problem is you're exactly like Dad. He was so focused on saving the world and doing his duty. Don't laugh. That he never had time for us. We need to keep moving if we want to find Iki before dark. See what he's doing there, Boomy? Classic airbender technique. Cutting and running when things get tough. Uh, how was your day, sweetie? Oh, fabulous. My tribe's about to go to war and I'm supposed to stop it, but will anyone listen to me? No. I'm sorry. My dad just gets me all worked up. How about you take a break from all this Avatar stuff and we go out for a quiet dinner? Oh. Oh. Oh my oh. god, of course. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Oh. I thought you were breaking up with her. What happened to ripping off the leech? I tried, but anytime I bring up the subject, she threatens to freeze me in a block of ice and feed me to dolphin piranhas. <laughs> okay. Why didn't you warn me your cousin had the power to reach into my heart and crush my soul with her bare hands? Oh, he's in a mess. Bring that lantern over here. I found footprints. Come on. Gosh, she's really traveled, doesn't she? Yeah. If you need an airlift down, just say the word. Ah, I don't need your help. I've got everything under control. Ah! <laughs> oh, 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 bless no. him. Oh. Cora, what's going on between you two? Ask Dad. I've tried, but he won't talk about it. Unalak told me everything. How Dad and Tenzin kept me trapped down here while I trained. How Dad got banished from the North. All I ever wanted to be was the Avatar. But everyone keeps holding me back, even my own parents. That's frustrating, isn't it? Varric's been plotting a rebellion against Unalak. He asked your father to join and... Dad is part of a rebellion? I don't know, but I don't want you getting caught in the middle of it. I'm already in the middle of it. Oh dear. Uncle? Dad? Is that, I was going to say, is that a dad? Turn around, Avatar, and pretend you didn't see anything. No. Leave Unalak and go. I'll tell him I tried to stop you, but you escaped. We can still avoid a war. <laughs> so what are they planning to do with him? Just, just... Kidnap him and take him away from the situation, do you think? They're trying to fight the Avatar though, aren't they? They're not gonna no, get they're not. far. No. What? Oh. Who are you? Where's my father? He wouldn't help us. He's a traitor, just like you. Find Varric. I want him to freeze in prison with the rest of these traitors. You can't just lock them away. That will only make the South angrier. You want them to go free? No. But let them stand trial for what they did. Very well. I will respect the Avatar's wishes in this matter. I told you those rocks were slippery. You're oh, lucky you didn't kill yourself. Him. You done with the lecture, Mom? Oh. Grow up. You haven't changed one bit since we were kids. Kaya's right. You're the oldest of us, but you always acted like the youngest. I had to become the responsible one. It's quite sad to see Aang's kids kind of like broken up a little bit like yeah. this. You think you're some savior who has to carry on dad's legacy. Who else is going to do it? How about all of us? Yeah, Aww. we're Aang's kids too. I can't be around you two right now. Go back to the temple and see if Iki returned. I'll keep looking out here. Fine. Fine. Don't split up. Not at night time. No, I know. Is it okay if I come in? Of course. Aww. I'm so glad you weren't there. Aww. Bless her. My brother and I have our differences, but I would never attack him. I'm surprised Varric's done it as well, mm -hmm. to be honest. We knew one day the world would need you. 
Then you wouldn't need us anymore. Mom, Dad, of course I still need you. Oh, oh. that's nice. At least they're together. That's a nice moment. Tonrock, Senna, you are under arrest and will stand trial. What? Trial? For what? For conspiring to assassinate me. What? When did they he, do that? He did, did he? I don't know if he... No, he, he wasn't there, was he? Oh, bless them. How could you do that to your own family? Yeah. I can't believe you're doing this to your own family. Rest assured, I've appointed Judge Hota to oversee the trial. He is the most fair and honourable man I know. It shouldn't be him sorting the judge out. No, no. way should it. He is the chief, though, isn't he? Of the mm. tribe. We search for Varric. Our father wishes him to stand trial. Well, what did he do? He is a traitor to the Water Tribe, along with our aunt and uncle. Varric's not here. Very well. Desna, let us continue our search elsewhere. Boyfriend, bow to me when I exit. Yes, yes, my sweet koala otter. <laughs> Bolin, you need to be honest with her. Tell her how you really feel. Honesty is for fools, kid. <gasps> he is in there. If you want to ditch this girl, then make yourself scarce. Is he inside the uh, platypus bear? Oh. How are we doing? The coast is clear. You can come out. No way, mister. Not until I know it's absolutely 157% safe. <laughs> Unalox rigged this trial, no doubt about it. Yeah, so definitely. I need you to make sure my trusty rebels stay out of prison. What's the money for? Bribery, of course. <laughs> There's always someone willing to look the other way for a few yuans. Iki? Still not Iki, found where are you? No. Oh, I love them. We are thankful for this super yummy food and for being the bestest new friends in the world. But we are most thankful because Milo and Janora aren't here because they stink. He's seen the disconnect between his kids and he feels yeah. that that's what's going on with him. Yeah. Is there room for one more? Uh, sure. You can sit next to Blueberry Spice Head. <laughs> nice to meet you, Blueberry Spice Head. <laughs> Oh, that is so cute. The little baby. Um, I can't say apples. I want to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Sky bisons. According to Unalak's testimony, you attended a meeting where Varric tried to incite a civil war. Is that true? Yes. And where exactly did this meeting take place? Wasn't it in her house? I think so. My parents' house. Oh, man. And who led this meeting? My parents are innocent. I've heard all I need to. Yeah. I'll return shortly with my decision. This is not good. I, I feel mean, like this uncle has set this all up somehow. I don't know because he was at that meeting, you know. I did think that once he got arrested, I was like, well, mm. they were at that first meeting. Yeah. I just need to be honest with you. You know, when we first met, there was this crazy spark, but I'm starting to feel like that spark is fading. I agree. Oh, Oh, yes, I am so glad you understand. Nothing that is, except marriage. <gasps> we will wed at sunset. You may express your joy through tears. No. No! No! I don't like this for bowling. No, I don't. Oh. I have found you innocent. Yeah, she wasn't there. Cora! Oh, what's the punishment going to be for everyone else, though? You are all found guilty. The punishment for this crime is death. <gasps> no! That can't be real. Why would you wish that on your own brother? Yeah, he's out of line. You take their lives and I'll take yours. Yeah. Cora, Ooh. calm down. Yeah. I'll talk to him. I know I promised to respect whatever decision you made, but I must ask you to reconsider. Now he looks like the good guy. Very well. I'll change their punishment. Your lives will be spared, but you will live them out in prison. <sighs> no, this isn't okay. Oh my God, they're imprisoned for life. Mm. You know, I could get used to it here. No one's yelling at me or telling me I'm delusional. We should have Uncle Boomy and Aunt Kaya come visit. I bet they'd like it too. But what about Milo? He's hilarious, too. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth. And Jinora can be so sweet and gentle. Being part of a family is hard, huh, Daddy? I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. They're both feeling it in their own ways, aren't they? Yeah. There's definitely dynamics going on between uh, 
the young siblings and the older siblings. We should probably head back, huh? I suppose. We can't hide in this cave forever. Don't worry, Daddy. We'll come back and visit Blueberry Spicehead. I know you really bonded with her. <laughs> yes. I'd like that. Oh, that's so sweet. Honey, are you all right? I'm fine. Good. And let's bust you out of here right now. Cora, no. If fighting were to break out, the North would crush the South. I'll be all right. Just promise me you won't do anything rash. It would be difficult to have so much power and I'm knowing not. you could do something yeah, about it, but, but you shouldn't. It's okay, Mom. I I hate feeling so helpless. I know. She's gonna do something. Yeah. Steady on, Cora. What do you want? It's not about what I want, it's about what Naga wants. And she'd like you to let my father out of prison. I was just following Unalak's orders. I what are knew you it. Talking about? No. I've said too much. <gasps> no, you haven't said enough. Unless you want to be Naga's afternoon snack, you better keep talking. He said he needed everyone to think the trial was fair. So Unalak told you what to say? Yes, every word. Why did he have you free my mother and change your sentence? He's trying to keep you on his side, but he also wants your father out of the way, just like when he got your father banished. Oh. <gasps> What? Look, uh, I'm sorry I didn't turn out to be an airbender like you hoped. But I've tried my best to keep the world safe. Hope I made you proud. Aww. What a horrible feeling to feel like mm. you're less. Unalak's a liar and a traitor. I've been trying to tell you that from the get-go. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Unalak hired the barbarians to attack their tribe. Then he told them to hide in the spirit force knowing my dad would go after them. Oh, he is calculated, isn't he? We didn't trust him from day one. We do. <gasps> What's happened? No. <laughs> I don't even want to know. Oh my god. Now, gather around Ping Ping. Let's talk plan. <laughs> I absolutely love him. He is funny, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Where is he? He's gone. I'm sorry, Cora. You'll never see your father again. I bet that judge has told him that you have to say everything. Bring him back, or I'm taking you out and the rest of your army. Remember who you are. As the Avatar, you cannot threaten war. You must remain neutral, or our tribes will never find unity. You want power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've always been jealous of my father, haven't you? You got him banished so you could become chief, and I bet it just killed you to learn he was the Avatar's father. Yeah. I'm done being manipulated by you. Yeah. You are going to bring my father back, then you and your troops will return to the north. And why would I do that? Because mm. you still need me to open the northern portal. No, I don't. Oh, really? Oh my god. Why does he not need it for the other portal, though? If we get to Varric's boat, we can still save your father. Let's go! Villain vibes from day one. Yeah. You have a license for that animal? Uh, you fellas seen a traveling circus come through here? Shoot me, do the thing. <laughs> that platypus bear is pooping money! <laughs> that is so funny. If only we had a plane to get me close to those ships, I could waterbend them out of the way. A plane? Well, why didn't you say so? He's got a plane on his boat, hasn't he? Oh, of nice. Of course he has. Why do you have a plane on your boat? In case the boat sinks, of course. But there's no runway. How are we supposed to take off? Julie! Take a note. Build runway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Captain, you're never going to believe this. <laughs> Where are the prisoners? Cora, this is crazy. You promised oh, me he you is on the oh, ship. Oh, I'm glad he's on that I ship. I had to. I'll explain later. Do you have something you want to say to your sister? Iggy, I'm glad you're back. Yeah, sorry we made fun of you. Thanks. Oh, nice. 
I wanted to apologize for how I acted yesterday. Oh. I've worked so hard to celebrate Dad's legacy that I may have overlooked the parts of him that were less than ideal. I thought you two might want to see this. Mom gave it to me before we left. That is one good looking oh. family, oh, huh? so sweet. I can't imagine Ang like favoring one child over the others. Mm. I just can't imagine it. What's our next move? I've been running from my past for too long. It's time to put my brother in his place. Mm -hmm. You have our support, Chief Tonrock. Mine too. The best way for you to help is by getting the President of the United Republic on our side. The South can give Unalak a good fight for a while, but we'll need the United Forces in order to win this war. This is so exciting. So the two brothers are going to go at war against each other. Now Esk and I are officially broken up. Yep, looks like we have company. And not the fun kind! Oh no, what is it now? Is it them two coming after him? Oh, it is, isn't it? I'm scared for him. It's, it is her as that's well. That's terrifying. That would be my darling Eska. Quick question, is this thing fast enough to get away from my crazy water bedding ex-girlfriend? Oh my god, that's really frightening. She is scary. She is not happy with bowling. <laughs> no, I'm actually scared <clears throat> for him. That was a really, really good episode and quite satisfying, isn't it? That we were right all along yeah. about him. Huge reveals in that episode. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we've got uh, Cora's uncle, yeah. uh, whose name, I will get it eventually. I just keep forgetting it. Um, but he obviously is completely jealous, which we kind of called from the first episode. Yeah. Jealous of Cora's dad. Didn't know that it was all down to him getting him banished, though. Yeah, because How he set the is whole that? thing up. Yeah, and the fact that, he, like, Cora's dad would have been a chief. Yeah. And obviously wouldn't have been the father of an avatar as well. Yeah. But the way that he's gone about things has been terrible, hasn't it? Like, yeah. he has calculated everything. He completely wanted to get Cora on side. Yeah. And completely get rid of of her parents which is what i said the other episode as well yeah in that the whole point of getting them arrested was completely to get them out of the way yeah yeah a hundred percent yeah well, it obviously was now wasn't it yeah. yeah and then to let obviously you know the best of both worlds he's probably thinking okay if i arrest cora's parents mm -hmm. she's going to be really annoyed at me yeah but if i release a mother and say no i've got to do this to your dad though because he did conspire against me it kind of yeah. draws that line of like I'm not happy with it, but I understand why you're yeah. doing it. Yeah. And then obviously his lie of like, oh, but I'll speak to the judge and, you know. Oh, yeah, like in of front of everyone. Through. Oh, I'll do that for you. I'll yeah. speak in front of everybody so everyone can see how nice I am. In reality, you've set all of this up. Yeah. And to be honest, painful. I kind of started to think it might have been a little bit of a setup anyway when he just asked him and he went, oh, okay. I'll drop the charges. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll make yeah, this I'll sentence lesson. Oh, okay. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll look that like was the easy. Good guy. Yeah, you're yeah. totally right. And also the judge, obviously, when he appointed that judge, I was like, no way should he be appointing anyone. It needs to be completely fair. Yeah. The judge needs to not know either party. And the fact that you've hired this judge and this judge is like, yeah, sentence him to death, the worst possible crime ever, but the worst yeah. possible punishment. And then set him up so he can look like the good guy. Oh, it's yeah. It's like having the defendant hire the judge, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it you is. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just crazy. Um, that was such a good episode. Yeah, that, that was really good. It. And the season actually is now starting to take shape. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit of a slow burn to begin with. It was. Which yeah. I didn't mind. It was world building. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Sorry, not world building. It was. It, we were. We were building this arc of the tribe of the northern yeah. and the south of and what was going on. And character building with all the new ones that we've got. Yeah. Which was good. Because there's some great new additions in this. There is some really great additions. Um, Tarek. Not Tarek. Um, I forget his name. You know the funny guy with the mustache yeah. and the bear. Yeah. I will pick up on the names. I promise. He is hilarious. He's he brilliant. is so funny. But I really like Bolin's girlfriend for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. She is mental. I despise her and Bolin together because she sucks yeah, the joy out of she Bolin. Does. Yeah, I and Bolin like is so full of life. Yeah, he is. He's lovely. And I want him to get with an equally lovely lady. Yeah. But absolutely. she might be lovely. She might just be, you know, twisted because of her dad and whatever. She might have a wonderful personality in there that we don't know about. Well, yeah. 
Yeah, because her dad is obviously... I imagine he's very strict and, you know, like... Yeah, well, what else we've seen him? Yeah. He's a no, complete crook, isn't he? Not the best character, is he? No. But no. yeah, I think we've got our season villain, I think, now. Yes, I think Confirmed. so. Confirmed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, great. Really really enjoyed that episode, yeah, which I is did. nice. It was great. Um, it was so good. Definitely a good... Avatar, I've said this in the previous Avatar series. Yeah. They always get the, the, you know, the, you know, like the two parters or the three parters. They mm. always seem to smash those episodes out the park. But yeah, loved it, guys. Thank you, as always, for being with us. We really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode as well. Let us know what you thought of it down below in the comments. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.